Good morning. I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Monday, October 12th. The Senate Judiciary Committee is expected to begin four days of confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett starting today. If confirmed, Barrett would fill the seat of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passed away last month. Democrats opposed Barrett's nomination by President Trump, saying whoever wins the November election should be the one making the choice. Meanwhile, President Trump plans to hold a rally tonight near Orlando, Florida. It's his first event away from the White House since he was released from the hospital almost a week ago. Democratic nominee Joe Biden set to visit Ohio, which President Trump won by a significant margin in 2016. And could Eagles fans end up in the stands at the link on Sunday? Well, Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney is expected to make an announcement about that on Tuesday. This weekend, over the weekend, the Philadelphia Union became the first local team to welcome a limited number of people back to watch the game live at Subaru Park. Looks like they had a great time there. All right, let's get a check of the weather. Larissa, rain, rain, rain today. Oh my goodness. Yes, Janelle. We are dealing with rain, some of it falling heavy at times on this dreary Monday. The good news is, is that rain will be short lived. Today, soggy, but tomorrow, improving weather in store. So for today, temperatures climbing to 61 degrees here in Philadelphia, 69 down the shore, 57 up in the Poconos and rain and low clouds will be in the area through much of the day today. Now, the steadiest rain is for the morning, but towards the afternoon and evening, we'll see scattered showers, but still rainy out there. In fact, we won't see improving weather until after Tuesday morning. Aside from the rain, we're also watching this coastal flood advisory that will go into effect starting at 3 p.m. today, and that'll take us until 9 p.m. tonight. Now, it doesn't have to do with the rainfall. However, However, that's not helping. Right now, we have that coastal flood advisory because of high tide. And you can see along the Jersey Shore points down through the Delaware beaches all under this advisory. Meanwhile, seven day forecast shows improving weather. As I just mentioned, it's time for our Tuesday. Temperatures by the afternoon Tuesday will be in the low 70s. So, certainly a bit of a rebound as far as your temperatures are concerned. We remain with high pressure controlling the area here through Thursday before our next disturbance drops in on Friday. Right now, we do have chances for showers here for the end of the week. But one thing we're all going to notice, Janelle, is how much cooler it'll turn behind our next disturbance. All right, Larissa, thank you. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Monday.